Hi, welcome to Martin Hacks. I'm passionate about helping people like you solving complex problems using simple solutions. And this is perhaps the tool for it. Today I'm going to introduce you to the double diamond. This is one of the cornerstones of design thinking. But basically, on practical sense, for a person like you, what does it mean? It means how can I take a customer group or a persona and how can I create a tested solution for that? This is one of the key things that everybody is trying to answer and one of the main things that people think is all innovation about. Well, it's not all innovation about, but it's one of the first steps to actually create a company or a product that people love. So I'm going to, to take you through how to do this. Now, on the very first step, I want to walk you through a mental process that will allow you to understand this at a very, uh, perhaps in a clearer way. Most of us, we spend our life doing what? So we have a, we have a to-do list, we have so many things to do, we are very stressed. From time to time, we actually think or spend time on how we do what we do. What are the best practices, how we can learn from top performers, and so on. Very few times we actually ask ourselves why we are doing what we are doing in the first place. This is a very important question to ask ourselves. Very, very few times in life we are asking ourselves who we are in the first place to do what we are doing. It's very common that people are doing that process in their lives and in the way they work. However, wouldn't it be better to start with understanding ourselves? What is our motivation? Who we are to do what, what we do? What are our strengths, our weaknesses? Why we are doing what we are doing? Then move to how we are doing what we want to do. And finally, focusing on what we need. But this mental process is really where it will allow us to go from a customer group or persona to a final test solution. Now, in terms of design thinking, they have a very nice framework to come up with that. And that is, first, let's explore this customer group. Let's go from one customer group or persona to, let, let's really take the streets and interview them and observe them and understand and em empathize with them. So we, we learn, and then we learn through qualitative data that could be interviews, observation, things like that. We also learn through quantitative. What are the hardcore numbers? What are the demographics here? What are the preferences? How will they behave? Really, going through the data points that will allow us to learn and understand the situation. If we understand this customer group, we will come up with 100 problems that they have. This is really important. We really understand now the customer group. We understand the pain, the problems, the circumstances. When we understand the circumstances, it's very important to start focusing. And then we go through a, from a diverging to convert cycle. When we convert, we are actually going through, okay, what are the key problems that they have? What are the key circumstances that they are really struggling with? So perhaps they, we can look at what are the really most painful uh, pains that they have, how often, do they have them? What, what are the opportunities for like tackling their, their needs? What are the really things that are loving in their life? What are the things that are aspiring? And try to declutter all of that means. Maybe group together the pains. Maybe explore even more the circumstances. At the, end, at the end of this process, we will be able to come up with the number one problem that they have. What is the root cause for things happening? If we have the number one problem, then we can start going through solutions. So in this part, this is what we usually call the problem space. And usually designers, anthropologists, and those type of people will typically work a lot in this area. Now, engineers, <laughs> they tend to come along this time. So engineers, they, okay, I want to give you a solution for 
something that I think I know. Engineers were pretty good at that. However, it's not the best way. We really need to come up with the problem first to be able to give you a proper solution. Yes, engineers are pretty good at that, but also designers, we can use Pinterest and many other tools to come up with ideas. We can use open innovation frameworks. There are a lot of ways to come up with ideas. We brainstorm, we create ideas, and we will come with 100 ideas that tackle that specific problem. Now, when we have 100 ideas, we can obviously not implement all of them at the same time. We need to focus. This is where most people start. Perhaps your company, you have belong to a very big company, there are a lot of improvement uh, portfolio ideas, a lot of things going on. Nothing gets implemented. This is very common for corporations. They struggle a lot with the concept of focus. We need to focus. We need to focus. And we have a lot of tools for that. We have like, again, the impact versus effort, we have strategy. But the most powerful tools we have for that, but not only that, but they are actually testing. So we will create prototypes and we will test them. We will take some of these few ideas, we will put them through some impact effort, different types of tools, we will create prototypes, we will test them. And this iteration, it will allow us to filter the ideas that are the best. Sometimes we realize that we even need to go here and do again the same cycle. This is what we call the solution space. And it's very important that it's integrated with also the product space. At the end of the day, we have come in, through a journey where we take a customer group, we understand all of the problems, we focus on the root cause or main problem they have, the circumstance they struggle with, we come up with ideas, and we have a final tested solution. In a nutshell, this is the Tower Diamond, and this is one of the best tools you can have to go from a person or a customer to a solution that they decide. In a nutshell, understand them, Focus, test, and do it again. I hope you have enjoyed, enjoyed this video. The template you can download it at martinhacks.com. And if you are curious about more design thinking, agile, uh, business improvement, productivity, please subscribe to my channel. I hope I see you very soon. Thank you very much.